Greetings fellow programmers, this is Pavel and this is part two of our uh, building the student poll application from chapter 17 uh, from the book uh, C Sharp How to Program. So, so far we were able to load the file, we put it all into try catch uh, and uh, now let's uh, display the, the file. So the file uh, or the, the content of the file will be displayed into the, this uh, text box which uh, if you go to properties of the text box uh, I named it txt display it's read only and I enabled the multi-line because obviously we uh, not, don't have just one line we'll have multiple lines you could as well use a list box but they wanted us to use text box so that's what I used so when I click the display results or uh, button display click I can uh, display the content of the file which is now being uh, loaded into our array called responses so I'll simply uh, basically display the content of the array so first I will uh, clear everything into our in our text box so, you know if there's something from the previous run I want to clear it out and to display everything is simply a for loop I will do for i equals zero i is less than and remember we have a constant called number of ratings and i plus plus uh, the number of ratings of course right now equals five we have uh, five lines of uh, in our text file and each of them is uh, one response or line for a response for one rating so uh, inside the for loop we will uh, do the txt display dot text and we will append plus equals each line uh, or each uh, index from the uh, responses array so we will do a string dot format I'll do it as a format uh, you could just do it uh, with concatenation with using plus but I prefer it as a format response zero as a uh, placeholder that will be the response one response two three and four and five and the placeholder number one will simply hold the number of responses or how many people voted for that particular uh, response and then on the new line we will up with the next one so again this the first placeholder is simply the number one two three four and five which is the numbered uh, responses one being the the school is uh, terrible and five being the school is awesome so that's basically corresponds with i but i starts from zero so it's actually i plus one because that's all we want to output one two three four and five and now after that we will output the responses of the index i and this will output a basically formatted string into our uh, let me just put it on the new line so you can read it better this will output the uh, the formatted string so if I run it now the file loads and if I click display results here it is response 1 we got 13 response 2 we got 24 uh, uh, votes 38 votes and so forth and that that matches with the 13 24 38 and so forth so uh, it loads correctly so uh, that's how we display it uh, but thinking about it I like when I click uh, when we actually do uh, like a new voting and I click uh, at let's say any of the votes and I click record answer I want to displayed again I want to display the new updated values into here so in other words both these buttons will use the same logic to display the array so uh, I'm gonna copy the, all this and uh, I will simply do a method called private void display records and in it I will pa paste all the all the code and from the button click event 
I will simply call that method. I will call display records. So when I run it, nothing should change. It should work the same way. If I click display, it displays. But now this is in a method that I can reuse. So we loaded a file, we displayed the file. So uh, it's time to uh, now do the uh, displaying uh, recording the new uh, new votes. But in our case, since we are uh, using you know the drop down menu as well as the radio buttons, again, we would only use one or the other in a real life application. I just wanted to show you how to use both. But you know what happens if uh, if I do if I vote using the uh, drop down and click something here as well. Now if I click record answer, record answer, which which one am I gonna record? Well the answer is none. If both of these are being uh, used and I click record answer, I wanna display a message saying that hey you use one or the other to vote, not both of them at the same time. And at the same time I need to once the message is displayed, I want to clear it back to the uh, to the original uh, original state, which basically means I wanna uh, up do the f use the form again that would say select rating as a, as a text and unselect uh, all the buttons. So um, let me take care of the uh, resetting the form first. That's gonna be uh, fairly simple. I will go and create a, a method called private void initialize initialize controls and in it uh, I will uh, uh, uncheck all the buttons and uh, also the uh, uncheck everything anything from the drop down so the buttons are just simply called radio raid one I will do it very simply, just this way. There's only five of them. Uh, so none of them will be selected. I'll just copy paste it. So this is gonna be three. This is gonna be four. And I need one more. It's gonna be five. So now un this unchecks all the radio buttons. And I also need to uncheck or the uh, the drop down. Now let me show you uh, how the drop down uh, actually works. I'll just come over here to the display, and I will do something like this: message, just to show you the values in the drop down. And I will show you the uh, I call the drop down C CMB uh, rating dot uh, selected index dot to string so when I click uh, the display uh, the d display button it should pop up a message with the selected index or the the index of the selected items from the drop down menu uh, so let me show you what will pop up so Nothing is being selected. This is just the default text. This is the text property from um, from the properties. Uh, it simply says select rating. Uh, so when I click display, look at it. The in selected index is negative one. In other words, negative one means that nothing is selected. If I actually select something and click display index, now it displays the index. It displays three because remember index starts from zero. So number f number four actually is index number three zero one two and three so that's just for the demonstration so uh, when we come over here to unselect anything everything from the checkbox i will set the selected index to negative one because that obviously means that nothing is being selected so i will set it to negative one and i will set the text uh, if i just do that uh, that would be just a blank like right now it's a select rating I want it to reset back to that I want it to say select rating again so I will do CMB rating dot uh, text 
equals select rating. And um, okay, so that's uh, that should be enough for the for the initializing the controls. And um, all right, that's enough for this video, I guess. And in the next video, we will uh, start putting all these things together and uh, recording new uh, new input from the user. So stick around, and I'll see you in the next.